Hey, what's up guys? We're back here, day three, and we're starting with trying to wrap up this corner here. And once we get this done, we're also finishing up tying that overhead door header and stuff back there. We're ready to start trussing. So I'm pretty pumped. It's Friday, sun shining, a little bit breezy, but it doesn't matter because trust day is the best day. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button so you can follow along on this journey as well as uh, future projects because I tell you what, it's January for 2019 and it's already shaping up to look like a really good year with a lot of cool projects coming down the pipeline. So I'm pretty excited and I think if you stick around, you're gonna be enjoying the videos and the builds just as much. All right, you can see that line is just a little bit heavy. That's inch and a half mark, but then I put the line just a little heavy. Okay. So where is it? You're right on. Oh. <laughs> Idea 100, bro. Uh -huh. 100. Two hammer bird box challenge. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> We're doing it! Today we're doing a two-hour challenge. What? We're just gonna do it a little different today. I bet that like, you're gonna cut, like, cut over to you and we get your butt while it's like, fur box edition. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the wall. Go, 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 yep. Okay, just like Woo. that. Oh, I don't want to reach in there. No, it's okay, man. That was easy. So easy. A group of three boss post framers can do this. I think uh, I can't remember to help you guys. I don't know if you guys have done quite a There's no way I would have done it without you. Thanks for letting me be a part. All right, we are now ready for truss. As you can see, we've got our front corners coming around with everything but our jam columns for that 24 foot door. And we like to leave that as much open as possible. Uh, if it wasn't a 24 foot door, let's say it was only a 16 or an 18, to me that's not big enough. I would have left everything off on this front wall so we could make it through. But since we've got a 24 foot hole, we should be able to come in with the, the trusses turned on an angle and go right in. One thing we always like to do is uh, snap a line on our end trusses and that is for our soffit trim so instead of doing it while it's up in the air and difficult do it on the ground we already know that dimension it's not going to change and it makes it really easy for us to be efficient later on
So I've had the same metal supplier almost the entire time I've been post framing. I've used a bunch of other people's stuff. I've uh, bought Menard's packages, I've built Walter's packages, I've built Morton buildings, I've built our own package. Honestly, I think they're all pretty much the same and I always tell my customers, don't be sold on a product. You know, the biggest thing I think is there's different details. So you always gotta look at the detail work. The metal panel itself, I don't think it matters as much. You want a good paint system, but most of them, they've come a long way. Buy from a reputable source, somebody that has been around in business a while and that's gonna stand behind the product if ever there were an issue. Metal sales has been great to me. I've had zero issues when it comes to fixing a problem, warranting anything, and honestly, the only stuff I usually ever have problems with is damage, scratched or whatever. I've never actually had problems with the, with the coil. So take it for what it's worth. I like Metal Sales. They're a national level company. They're all over. Look them up if you're interested. And I'll try to remember to drop a link down below in the description if anybody is interested. Well, there you go, guys. We were able to get the trusses up. It's about four o'clock on a Friday. So we're just gonna spend the last little bit of time. It's already getting a little bit dark out. We're gonna go ahead and get as much bracing as we can get done. We're gonna get the building locked down with chains. And then we're gonna try and clean up because they're calling for maybe three inches of snow tomorrow. And nothing worse than coming back on a Monday and shoveling snow off your material. So we're gonna try to get it all cleaned up, prep for the weekend, and we'll be back on Monday. So thanks a lot for sticking around, watching the show, and subscribing. So if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And go ahead and drop some comments down below uh, what you thought about the video, what you think about the building, or maybe what you think about our building techniques. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks a lot. See you later. Thank you.